Whatever you would like, could you tell me about what you built? So we built a keyboard. It has, as you can see, lots of keys. Could you turn the volume up just a little if possible? Beautiful. So it uses uh, FM synthesis to create the sounds and we're using uh, uh, the switches or the buttons are all the just conductive surfaces that you touch okay. and you touch a uh, ground with uh, the other hand right now or we have made wristbands that also work for the most part. So you are grounding yourself with yeah. that cable so that when you touch the touch sensors it feels your touch. Yes. Okay. And... Part pie, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Without being grounded? So, without being grounded, it can be a bit unpredictable. Okay. Um, can you, so, and what are the keys made of? So, these are all just uh, copper tape. And then these are aluminum foil. They're wrapped around actual piano or keyboard keys. Okay. Okay. Very to cool. Help yeah, we get did, the size right. We took the key tops from actual like an old um, piano, so like it uh, more closely resembles like uh, an actual keyboard. Yeah, I like how you've managed to marry uh, function and aesthetics here. It looks just gorgeous. Really nice. And then you're using FM synthesis to generate the piano-like sound. Yeah, so um, another feature of um, the um, keyboard um, and synthesizer is uh, the ability to play um, songs. So okay. uh, we've chosen to be able to play any uh, MIDI file, which is um, like a widely used um, format of um, storing music. And um, so for the purpose of the demo, we've chosen like five of um, these songs, which are all like from very different kinds of pieces. Okay. Um, of course, to change any of this, we just um, need another MIDI file and you can supply the part of that when compiling. So um, I'll quickly demo um, uh, the song before getting into how it sure. works. We support the entire range of um, the piano keyboard, so essentially you can play um, any MIDI file or any song that can be played on a physical um, piano. How many keys at once? So, so, um, so like while it would take too long, of course, to like um, compute like the FM synthesis on all um, of the keys, we have like a buffer sort of solution. Um, where every time you want to add a note, you add it to that buffer, and then um, the FM synthesis like interrupt service routine only checks the notes in that buffer. So currently okay. our buffer size is 10, assuming that no more than 10 unique notes are played at exactly the same time. But like every time the buffer is full, we remove like um, the least recently played note, yeah. similar to something that you'd find in like an LRU policy in a cache, and then the note that you want to add is then like added to the buffer. Ten notes simultaneously, so every finger on that yeah. on so ten. ten voices. Yeah. Very cool. Very, very. Can we hear another one of the songs? Yeah.
And because you've built this to accommodate just standard MIDI, am I correct that you could essentially download the MIDI file for one of these songs? And did it take a lot of work to then sort of implement that in your pro in your application code, or was it pretty much just you could download it and load it up? Yeah, so I can show you um, like how that works. Okay. Um, so we have like. Um, if uh, I push this, does it pause? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, so we essentially have like uh, a Python script that takes in um, the path of a downloaded MIDI file as an argument. Okay. And then um, sort of like running that um, prompts you to choose um, which track of the MIDI file you'd want to play. So like while this one, for example, has um, only one track, that is the grand piano. Right. Certain MIDI files um, split up like the melody and accompaniment into separate tracks, so you can choose like um, which one you'd want to play. Um, and then um, choosing it um, sort of parses um, the information from the MIDI file into um, like what notes have to be pressed and when they should be released. Okay. So we're essentially storing like the press or release um, event um, as like which note needs to be pressed, which one needs to be released, and like the time interval um, before which this event should happen. I see. I see. Wow, really? Let's see, I'm going to try. Is that those are, edge? Different. Those so are different? Okay. These five correspond to like I see. Okay. Songs. Okay. What do these three do? So those are instrument choices. Okay. So we this is just a piano ish type of sound. I'm just gonna turn it up slightly. Did I go the right way? Can you push it? Nope, oh, went the wrong way. Okay. So that's just the bass sound. There is also a Something that sounds a bit more like a struck string. Yeah. Something maybe like a small, really small harp or something. Okay. Um, and then bells. That's gorgeous. Hey, can we get one of the preset songs with one of the other instruments? So they do play. Um, Silent Night on the Bells sounds really... So yeah. Amazing. And to, to find those, like the piano sound and each of the, the sounds that you implemented, was that by playing with the FM synthesis parameters until you found something yeah. nice? Okay. We were working off of some original like sample parameters but they didn't quite match the instruments that they claimed to with the this FM synthesis. So okay. I'm guessing just slight differences in the algorithms. Sure. Yeah. It's also a matter of taste. <laughs> yeah. But the the, uh, the the piano is pretty good sounding. On, on one of the preset pieces, it sounded a little more to me like an organ, but but it but it, it has a it, it's really nice, really nice quality. Yeah. Um, and just awesome that it's it's a general purpose MIDI synthesizer. It's amazing. And our last sort of feature is like the ability to play like. A, uh, MIDI file along with um, playing on the physical oh, keyboard. Really? Oh, so you can play along? Yeah, so it's okay. like um, uh, we've recorded an accompaniment and um, like you can play the melody so it sounds like a duet. Um, a very cool. So there's a very simple duet recorded and I'll try to um, play like the melody along with uh, the accompaniment. Okay, sure. Thank you both. That's incredible.